Bring your legs media. You know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks. We got lots of stuff coming up. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome. This is In This Luby State with Your Legs Media. It's Sunday, so I thought I would, like, you know, just, you know, it's Sunday. Put on my Sunday best. So anyway, really quickly, let's get into this. We're going to get into the Great Ocean Race. We're going to bring you the last, uh, what it is, the last, like, uh, 10K, per se. It's basically, it was a really good hill just before, like, about 10K out, and it sort of just broke everything up. And it sort of just changed the dynamic of the race and the expected winners. But before we get into that real quick, remember, Vice Card is the last card, the business card you would ever need. Uh, near field communications, just walk up to someone's phone, tap it on the phone, all your information transferred, done and dusted. Supercolor, Supercolor is responsible for my t-shirts, the, the heat uh, transfers on the t-shirts and yo they just are super dope so you know see the email there check me out and get sorted get sorted baby get sorted baby so you know i got the embroidery on today's be a boy's looking sharp what you think what you think remember hit the like button subscribe to the channel turn on, turn on your notifications and please share this with a friend because we are going from one level to the next you see you see, you see what i'm doing I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Wait, wait. I have to do this for myself. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get on with this. <laughs> Enough of the shenanigans. And we need to get rid of these guys. Bring you. Here we go. We're just going to jump right into it. Are you ready? So as you can see, the race is out. We are, it says 11.8 kilometers out, so, so 12 kilometers from the finish. And as you can see, it's DSM. They are on the front, and they are working hard for Caleb, for Caleb Ewan. So I'm getting it right, because in a, in a video a little while ago, I kept calling Caleb uh, Cadell. I don't know why. They're both Australian. So Caleb uh, is a uh, DSM team. is on the front. They are pushing hard. And they're basically getting ready to set up for this hill that's coming up. It's a pretty significant hill. Benny Steele in there. You got Netneal Tesfessian who's in there, who's like my feature for today because he does really well. I'm going to give you the top 10 uh, finishes as well. So I'm being a little bit biased towards the, um, <laughs> to the, towards the African riders. And it's only because you don't see that much. You know, we're going to see all the rest of the guys the rest of the season. And that's all I'm going to be talking about. So when we do get somebody to, you know, do really well, we're going to highlight them. So DSM is on the front. We got Ineos, Ineos, Ineos trying to set up for Navarez to get Navarez. And today is a good course for Navarez. It's not too big of a climb. So like Benny Navarez should be in there with a chance. The only person who is, there's a question mark on, is a... Uh, are Caleb Ewan, as, you, as you're going to see, as we're getting into the climb, 10.7k to go, and it's going to start climbing, and it's going to start climbing hard. So you see, you got group of group of farmer, FDJ coming up on the right side of the road, and you got the, uh, is it the Ineos train on the front? Yeah, we got the Ineos boys on the front, on the left side of the road, and right in the center, we got DSM doing the thing, and there's Benny just coming straight to the front, making it. Uh, make you know making his presence felt and any you know Benny's right right away on he doesn't want to lose the wheel of Navarez so he feels like that's the guy to be today so that's who he's marking and if you watch Benny when he races he, he always tries to pick out the guy who he thinks is going to win or has the best chance so if you want to wager someone on who you might win you, you bet on the people who win who they think might win so I had to get my word straight. <laughs> I wanted to figure out how I was going to set it. So now we're starting to climb. We're getting into that climb and it's stringing out right away. You see, it's stringing out right away. So Israel Prima Attack going to the front right and really, really hard. Uh, one of the Israel Prima Attack guys has got off the front. He set the pace. And we got the Jayco Alula guys trying to stay pace and keep pace. But the pace is hot. The hill is short. The hill is getting hard. And as you can see, this gap's opening up already. We got uh, fourth from front EF. EF uh, education rider. Uh, so going back to front, Israel Prima Attack, Jacob Alula, Ineos Grenadiers, Grenadiers, 
and the EF Rider. So there's Navarez right up front. And uh, George Bennis, thank you for the caption. George Bennis is the one on the front, setting the pace, setting the tempo, and bringing the pain. And as you can see, this tempo is just really just destroying everything and everybody. And unfortunately, there's two groups on the road forming really quickly. And in group number two is uh, is my guy. If, if he would have made it over, he definitely would have won the sprint. But in group number two, getting distance right away is Benny. So Benny wouldn't feature in this finish. So there's a gap happening. And a you know so this is the this is behind the second group as you can see Benny is right there, I don't know what's going on, and there's Viviani there's the other person that Benny you know has his eye on as a person to beat, and then he had to be national champion, I believe his name is I can't remember his name I'm not even gonna try to guess but the Australian national champion he had a, a massive crash last week in the tour down on the race, and just really tore up his body and he's back at it on the front doing this thing and there's Navarez right at the front and he's just a really good all-round rider and these guys the, the the grade is hard the grade is steep and the separation happens quickly it was it's, it wasn't a long hill you can see it's just just like a classic type hill which is a, I'm a bit surprised as Benny got like tapered off and it only goes to show that it's early in the season and Benny really hasn't got that classic form as yet so that that will come in the season as the season gets on so that's nothing to worry about. So you can see there's a gap. There's about, what's that? Maybe a 20 second gap quickly uh, at the quickly um, formed. And there's, uh, I'm, this, I'm gonna call this the mini group. The mini group and they're just hitting the roundabout. So it looks like about 20 seconds and they're gonna hit this downhill. And right away, the Israel Premier Attack goes straight to the front and uh, put the hammer down. They, I mean, they just literally put the hammer down and you can see most of the couple of guys you know, mid pack looking back to see where the group is, as if the group is catching. And then that's the one thing that everyone's looking back to see if we're doing the damage. And initially, in these moments, guys are like, "Yo, we gotta, we gotta press on," because the, the, you know, the less guys there are to contest the, fr the finish, the better the chances are for the riders that are in this group. So they are pressing on. Any of, any of, sorry, yeah, you got any of rider in there, but Israel Premier Attack are the ones doing the damage setting the pace setting the tempo and it's going to get real interesting going into the last uh few kilometers of the race so we're seven kilometers into the race and what it does is, is it does it is it like they did the hill but then it's going to go up and down up and down all the way to the finish which is part of the reason why the guys who got trapped weren't able to get back on because it just kept going up and down had it like had the hill and then went downhill and then sort of flattened out or flat to the finish then would have been a chance for the group of 20 to get back on so now they're just bombing downhill they're doing the incredible speed and i i came to understand that the rider from australia i need to remember his name but i remember his name later in the season he he had on a 56 56 uh 12 or 56 11 on the back of his bike so he, he he basically prepared for the downhill so he's what seventh wheel right now and he's not doing nothing and, and they've opened up a, a a quick 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 gap so they're just coming on the hill and the gap just opened up quickly it's like maybe 30 40 seconds already so these guys are really motoring and then what happens in this in, this, in the group uh, in, this, in the chasing group is this who's going to see so it's 28 seconds 30 seconds that's pretty close so what happens in the second group is everyone is like looking around and deciding who's going to chase so but the israel premier attack guys are right on the front and they're setting it up for their sprinter who's sitting there and, and these guys are really keeping the pressure on so that gap is opening up and you see at the bottom of the hill it's, it's normal that you, you look like the gaps will be closing because they're coming on the hill so they're slowing up and the guys coming downhill so they're going to be picking up speed so it looks like they're closing the gap but you know when these guys get back to the hill top of the hill when they get to the top of this hill then it'll it'll go back to what it you know that 30 seconds actually looks like so that was another little steep punchy hill and the guys who are chasing are going to have to you know deal with that same hill and that same pressure so you got efi education off the front looking like he's gonna do something really put in the hammer down and this is where you're gonna see a lot of people really giving it a go but we have a little incident here where the motorbike literally got in his way so it that word motorbike yes he got in a way but it also lends to an advantage of um, getting a draft but it obviously 
caused him um, some distress because it slowed him right up and Israel Premier Attack Rider was able to chase him back down and you got the Astana Rider and then we got another Israel Premier Attack sitting on the Astana Rider so it's going to come back together we're going to have a look around and the EFF Rider is talking back to his guys like what's going on where you at who's doing what so he's, he's coming off the front it's like nope I couldn't get away I'm not going to just waste myself for no reason because apparently there was a pretty good headwind as well which is another reason why it's all strung out and as you can see the group is just starting to break it up and there's nothing else that's just that's messy on and he's like a third from the back he's just hanging in there and he wasn't talked about too much and what what did Phil Liggett said I'm going to tell you what Phil Liggett said about uh, he right about this point too in his commentary Phil Liggett says um and he, you know, he's talking about the sprinters and how they're going to finish. And he says he can sprint, but I don't think he'll sprint with some of the uh, riders in this one. So basically, Liga was counting uh, Nathaniel Fessian out already because he knows he's a pretty good climber. But he's like, you know, thinking like guys like Navarez was going to just, you know, to dust him. But we'll see. We'll see. So we, we have the American uh, champion uh, coming up there on the left looking like he's going to do something. And everybody's names are eluding me right now. This is good. I don't mind because I'll, I'll as the as, you know as the season goes on, that's going to be easy. I'll be able to spot these guys in my sleep. So do you see Navarez? He's got his uh rider from Ineos Grenadiers on the on the front, helping to keep the pace going. The gap is just about teetering uh to hit 30 seconds, but it's like still 27 seconds. So the group is keeping them. You know, at an arm's distance, they're not closing the gap, they're not catching, and they're not losing anything either. So they're sort of keeping themselves within a chance. And here we see the Australian national champion go off the front. You know, he's giving it a big dig, giving a you know, like giving it the giving giving it the what's the word I want to use? <laughs> Every time I want to think of a word, it's 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 not like a user friendly word, so I can't use the word that I'm thinking of. So I'll leave it alone. But he's giving it the beans. He's definitely giving it the beans. I'll, I'll use that word. So we had 3.8 kilometers to go. The group is still at 30 seconds to go. And here we got the U.S. champion, national champion. He goes off the front and looking like, you know, this might be a move because he wanted to stage the Tour de France similar to this. And I think he wanted to stage, stage in the Giro similar to this as well. So, and the crazy thing is there's a massive headwind and the guy that's chasing, he's not exactly got a draft. And in order to actually benefit from his wheel, he's got to get on his wheel. And if he doesn't get on his wheel, it's, it's just all for naught. So he's keeping, this is, this is like what we call no man's land. You don't want to be between the pack and, and, and the guy in front of you. And he's still giving it all. And the U.S. national champion is just you know, he's just he's just giving it. And now the gap is starting to open up. It was probably about 10 bike lengths. Now it's 12. Now it's 14. And like he's, you know, now we're hitting the hill. It's climbing. It's getting harder. Gap's opening a little bit more. And you're going to see like right here. This is pretty much where the EF rider just packs it in. It's like, I'm not catching him. I'm wasting a lot of energy. And he's just got to let him go. He's just got to let him go. So he's, 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 there we go, Quinn. How could I forget Quinn's name? I mentioned his name so much. Quinn Simons, USA, national champion. I apologize, Mr. Quinn, for not remembering your name and who you are. So you see the F rider. He pretty much just uh, gives up the ghost and just gets back in on the end of the line. And the other thing, too, is when you put a hard effort in like that, it's, it's probably just as hard to get on the back of the group as it is to try to get away from the group because you've just extended yourself you just you know went anaerobic trying to chase somebody that you can't close the gap on and now you gotta when the group comes across they're not slowing down you got yes you're, you're slowing down because they're coming across you across you and you you have to like get your uh speed up you gotta like do another jump to get on the back of the group so that can be pretty painful sometimes getting on and, and not giving up so quinn simmons is out he's about to hit the roundabout and uh, it looks like okay i was wondering why they didn't like cut the roundabout but they fixed it so that they had to go around the long way so we got the nes rider on the front trying to close things down now issue of premium attack is going to take things over they've come around 
And I was like, we we got to get Quinn because if we don't get him, it's it's up the road. It's going. So right now they are pushing really, really, really hard trying to get back Quinn Simmons. I mean, he is putting in an effort with 1.5 kilometers to go. And they know that they don't get him within the next K. It is over. And Quinn Simmons, Quinn Simmons has got the bit between the teeth. He's just like, yo, it is on and popping and we are going to go get this. Meanwhile, we still got Netanyahu Svassion still just sitting there, cool, calm, collected. You had never seen him come at the front, never made him attack. This is probably the smartest I've seen Netanyahu race. Because usually when he's in the front group, he's, he, he's always like coming to the front. Like he feels like he needs to show, like he can, uh, he can uh, dance with the big boys. And sometimes you don't have to. And I think he's learning that. So I, he's sitting in there. He's sitting in there. He's sitting in there. So after that big, big old push by Israel Primer attack, they brought back Quinn Simmons, which was a massive effort. So they called him back pretty much right at one kilometer to go. And now you see, uh, this, I don't know if this was a plan, but one of the uh, track uh, little riders goes off the front. And right away, the J.K. Lula rider chases him down. So this is so perfect for not now because now, not now, not now, this Fession is doing even, even less work. So the sprint has started right here. I just think that I'm going to stop it right here. I just think that not now, this Fession just went a wee bit too early. But hindsight is always 2020. So, but he just went a little bit too early. And this is going to come with time and he's going to learn these things. And, and he's going to realize from this point, hey, I'm just as fast as these guys, if not faster. So where is, uh, now we got to find Navarez. There's Navarez. He's not even in the picture. Navarez is like literally supposed to be the fastest guy in the sprint. He's on the wheel of, who is on the wheel? Uh, let me see. Look at my notes. Of, uh, is it Lawrence? Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Pithy. He's on the wheel of Lawrence Pithy from Israel Prima. No, Group Group Pharma. Group 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 Pharma. FDJ. Group Pharma FDJ. That's the name. So he's a, he's on he's on the wheel of uh, the FDJ rider, and sort of sitting behind Nathaniel Tesfasian, which is really really strange. And then on top of that, you're gonna get the Israel Prima attack rider. That's the finish right there close close finish and it's so crazy that the 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 well, who was supposed to be the top sprinter which is really not the top sprinter is Navarez and he finished like fourth or fifth or something like that but he's still finishing the top 10 so we're gonna come down so we're gonna get back it it was a really really close finish so that's the finish and it look, looks, looks like Navarez even finished in fifth place. So he finished in fifth place. So let's get a look at the who finished where. Let me get all your names. Oh, wrong. Yeah, you need to get one of those, but that's that's not what you want right now. And this is it. So basically from our group, 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 group Pharma, Group Pharma, FDJ, you got Lawrence Pithy. Uh, just adding out Nathaniel Tasfasian by just the, uh, it was so close. And then you got George Zimmerman from Intermarche Monte in third place. Uh, Corbin Strong from Israel Premier Attack in fifth, fourth place. Uh, Jonathan Navarez, uh, he is definitely the favorite. It was really surprised to see him come in fifth place. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure once that breakaway got away, all of the bookies put the, the odds just like definitely went up for Navarez once he made this group. And then in sixth place, you got uh, Alex Morial, Axel. Is it Axel? But um, he writes for confident, Confidence. I'm sorry for butchering up your name, Axel. And you got Chris Hamilton in uh, seventh place. Uh, team D DSM uh, Firm Attack. Uh, Postal. Netherlands, and here's that Christian Skoroni from Azistan, Astana, Kazakhstan, and in ninth place, Jonas Wush from Education EF Easy Post, and finally in 10th place, Louis Barre from Akea BB, BNB Hotels. And if you're wondering where Bini finished, if he was in the 
second group and he finished in 22nd place just behind his nemesis uh, from Ineos Grenadiers, uh, Vivi Vivi Viviana Alley or something like that. <laughs> Viviane. So, but that's how it went. That was a pretty good race. Um, amazing race. A really good showing by Natnel Tasfasian. He came that close to, you know, winning uh, uh opening race. So, good on to all Eritrea. Eritrea looking strong, finishing on a podium on our numerous days down in Australia with Vinny finishing uh, twice on the podium and then actually winning a race. So that was pretty amazing. And here you got that the Altus Vassian with, you know, just losing out by a wheel length. So I'm pretty sure you're going to see more of both of these riders. This has been Ennis Luby Cycling Tours. I appreciate you for checking in with me. So let's get rid of this, guys. And get back to, here we go. And I need one more thing. There you go. So you make sure you check out the gear. And like I said, not now to special. And that was pretty amazing to see. Uh, well done to the young man. Pretty dope haircut. <laughs> I remember when I used to have hair. Yeah, I used to have hair. So anyway, for this uh, Sunday, I hope you enjoyed that. We got a couple races from Mallorca to bring you to let you know about how the races going in Mallorca. Also, Matthew Vanderpool has been on the rampage. He's still doing the cyclocross. And he is one more week in cyclocross before he gets ready for the road season. So, like I said, information for the Vice Card and for Supercolor is in the description. So, check it out if you want more information about those. And remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you in the next video. I appreciate you and thank you for tuning in. Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.